In mid-May, KITV4 News first reported concerns raised during a security review of the Hawaii Convention Center in Waikiki because of the large amount of glass in the building, making it unsafe for President Obama and other world leaders to be there. The problem? Even if someone sets off a bomb fairly far away from the convention center, shards of glass could rain down on people inside and outside, causing serious injuries. Today, the White House announced that the Halekoa Hotel in Waikiki will host the APEC 2011 Leaders Reception and Dinner on Saturday, November 12th. That event will feature presidents and prime ministers from 21 APEC member countries. The next day, Sunday, November 13th, those same APEC leaders will meet at the JW Marriott Ihilani Resort in Ko'olina. The Hawaii Convention Center will still host ministerial and senior officials meetings and house the International Media Center during APEC, which is expected to bring 20,000 people here from around the world. While most APEC events will be in Waikiki, the meeting at Ihilani will require 21 world leaders with 21 separate motorcades to travel from Waikiki to Ko'olina, affecting traffic on the H1 freeway and elsewhere. But officials say since that meeting is on a Sunday over a three-day Veterans Day weekend, traffic should be fairly light. Now on Saturday, November 12th, when those world leaders are having dinner at the Halekoa in Waikiki, the University of Hawaii Warriors will be playing an away game in Nevada, thankfully, so Aloha Stadium traffic will not add to congestion problems that day. But be forewarned, expect road and freeway closures and lots of security that will make it much easier to just stay off the roads and stay out of Waikiki that weekend if you have the choice to do so. Back to you.